The head of the Revenue Authority this morning touring a state-of-the-art new packaging line at the Uganda Breweries. Officials here alert him of the expanding black market operators. This is the laws that protect our industries against illicit and counterfeit products, which cost the government uh, estimated up to 1.6 trillion annually in leaked taxes. The UR rating through the office of the Commissioner Customs is doing a good job in curbing illicit and we have brought them. However, the problem is big and spread across the country and we are willing partners to engage with you. Identify solutions that will be able to transition a lot of the maybe unpacked and illicit product into packaged, taxed and uh, certified. Perhaps this new relationship, it is hoped, will energize government to act. The figures on illicit alcohol, according to the Brewers Managing Director, are stunning. He told the taxman the report puts unpackaged and illicit products at 64.5%. It's time to work together and redeem the 64.5% market share that goes to illicit alcohol. And I believe, as the URA team, our role is well cut out. So what we are here to ask our brothers from UBL, let us share that information. We are going to clap when they it. Because I enjoyed the whole tour until when we were winding up there. And I saw so many crates outside the warehouse. And you told me, CG, this alcohol has no one to consume it because of the impact on the economy. We are very proud that actually we are sourcing, uh, we are able to source currently, currently, you know, we are sourcing 90, 95% locally. And, then, and you know the impact of that. Uganda Breweries is, according to the Uganda Revenue Authority, the third largest taxpayer to date and has nearly all its beer products now manufactured at its Luzira plant.